Hello, Sojourners. I'm the Sojourner in chief here, I guess, in an anarchy of Sojourners, Shogren Sojourners. And really, if you just want to bypass everything else, if you say the name of this channel 30 times fast, maybe 50, I don't know. When you get to where you can do that, then uh, you'll be cured. Neuroplasticity will take over. So here's some art I've been doing, and I, I got it out mainly because uh, my I didn't want to face a camera because my eyes have bags under them, like the size of kangaroo pouches with little kangaroos in it. Actually, not baby kangaroos either. They're like grown-up, 25-year-old kangaroos been to college. They really have to move out of damn pouch. And that's the bags under my eyes. Slackers get out. So, in a roundabout way here, uh, you know, I'm not going to go into this a whole lot now, but Shogun's to thank, I think, for the fact that I... Uh, took up art at all only about five years ago and um you know kind of this is my first work in a couple of years i haven't had the energy but uh it hit me i i didn't realize what was happening at the time but i had a real episode and whatever it was a combination of trauma or maybe that had nothing to do with it but i went really blinky but not in a way that was really detectable. I know it now. I I thought I was just, well, I thought what everybody else probably thought is I've just been through too much at the time. But um, I was, um, man, you know, I was off my foundation and um, it affected my speech. First of all, I couldn't write. I could not, you know, I'm a professional writer. Or I used to be anyway. Um, and I, I couldn't, Shogun's to thank, I think, for the fact that I, uh, it's not easy, but um, music, I could, I didn't have any music left in me. I couldn't pick up the guitar. I was, and that that's bad in, for someone who's really, there are certain kinds of people who are musical in a certain way that, you know, when the music goes, you may take a break and it's refreshing and that's fine, but that's not the music going out of you. And uh, the music went out of me for a couple of years. It was scary. I have a sensation that Shogun's gets at people who are, you know, a little more sensitive, a little smarter, a little more aware, a little more creative. Um, there's evidence for that with autoimmune disorders across the board. I mean, I personally have never met anyone suffering from rheumatoid arthritis who was not a musician i i don't you know and it's not like this, this was just kind of random it's not like i really hung out with musicians that much um but go figure um you know where's my cannabis pipe busted it helps it helps with fibromyalgia it helps the fibromyalgia, although, you know, I'm putting everything on the table. So, yeah, I just want to tell this part of the story a little bit because it shows, you know, you know, our, our nervous systems, our psyches, our spirits, our souls, whatever you want to call that part of it, they're self-regulating. Shogun's hits us in like the second chakra, right between the second and first, up in the crown, if you follow any of that stuff. If you don't, it's really worth looking into because you might find... A lot, of, a lot of like really incredibly clear uh, models for the kind of stuff that happens to people that hits them in this chakra or that, and then you'll you'll be able to correlate a whole lot of what your your own jam is. So, um, the other thing I really want to this would be true of anyone in this day and age, but my friends, sojourners, we got to do something that takes us away from electric screens. I wish I could find a way to do this on a soapbox outdoors instead of having to you know, look at the screen while I'm talking about it. But um, tactile arts and crafts will save us. It'll save you from madness. And um, if you really connect with it, 
you know, it's good just on a you know, donkey level, but then if you start getting a little deeper connection with the stuff you're doing, it will do a lot to uh, release the um, stuff that's trapped, so to speak. The thing, um, I this is a, a bit freewheeling, right? But uh, I think I've got three points to make here. Go get a paintbrush and some paint. Um, we need to engage in tactility. I think that there's some chakra stuff. I'm not going to elaborate on it now because I'm not that like articulate about it. But, uh, you know, I, there's something something kind of went dead for us, obviously, uh, up in the crown, you know, jaw area, behind the eyes, all that. Well, one way to activate, the, you can look at it as the nervous system and ganglia and all that stuff. You can look at it as chakras and consciousness, whatever. But I think that it's clear to me that without what's clear to me is that, you know, my something inside of me was insisting with great ferocity that I fix my eyes on a blank surface and press color and form into it. And that this was going to somehow, you know, reactivate the nervous system. 